Hi, this is Ron Risman at Cameratown.com, and we're going to be doing a video ISO noise comparison test right now between the Canon 7D and the Nikon D7000. On the left here, you see the Canon 7D, and on the right is the Nikon D5000. I have them on the same tripod. They're close to each other, but there's going to be some parallax error, error in, the, uh, in the video that you see, but not too much. The uh, 7D has the 24 to 105 Canon lens on it, which is a pro lens. The Nikon has an 18 to 105 lens on it, which is a kit lens. A, uh, I don't have a, the, a very similar lens on the Canons, unfortunately I had to use this, but I tried to keep the focal length somewhat the same, and we're going to keep the uh, shutter speed at 1 50th, we're shooting at 24 frames per second, we're going to change the aperture, and we're going um, to keep exposure the same, and we're going to change the ISO to test how well it does in low noise. Uh, right now you can see the Nikon now is on your left as I turn these around, so you can get some idea of the body size of the Nikon comparison to the Canon 7D. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the test and I hope it helps you out in making any decisions that you're trying to make. Okay, right now I'm recording with both cameras at f5.3. Actually, the Nikon the Canon is at f5.6, the 1 50th of a second shutter, ISO 640. And uh, got the focal length, you know, somewhat matched. It's hard to get it exact. Uh, it looks like maybe the Nikon is a little stretched on the screen, which makes it a little bit more difficult to match. And the cameras are about four inches from each other, which gives a little bit of parallax error. So this is ISO 640. Okay, here are both cameras. Um, the, Nik the Nikon is set at 1 50th of a second for a shutter speed, f8, ISO 1250, and the Canon is set identically. 1 50th of a second, f8, and ISO 1250. Okay, right now the Nikon is set at 1 50th of a second, f11, ISO 3200, and the Canon 7D is also set to 1 50th of a second. F11, ISO 3200. I've uh, kept the ISO at 3200, but now I'm at F14 for an exposure and a 1 50th of a second for a shutter. Okay, right now both cameras are set on F20 for an aperture. I have, um, the shutter speed of 1 50th of a second and ISO 6400. This is probably where the Nikon should really pull ahead, maybe even at 3200. The Canon 7D is quite noisy when you get into 6400 and 3200, and I typically would never shoot at 3200 with the Canon 7D unless I'm using, unless I plan to use noise reduction in post. Okay, right now I'm recording with the Canon and the Nikon. The cameras are set at f4, 1 50th of a second shutter speed, shooting at 24 frames per second at 1920 by 1080, and I'm using ISO 3200 on both cameras. The only light coming into my living room is ambient light coming from outside. I've got a bay window on the right. And um, it is a cloudy day outside, so there's no sunlight. So the room is okay, as you can tell. I'm needing ISO 3200 to get a proper exposure, so it's not super bright in this room. And uh, the Nikon can go down to F3.5. I'm not showing it right now because I'm trying to keep the uh, cameras compatible and my, the lens on the Canon only goes to F4. So this way I can show the ISO comparison side by side. Okay, right now we're um, again trying to keep the same exposure. ISO 6400 on both cameras, f5.0 for the aperture and 1 50th of a second for the shutter speed. Okay, right now I'm recording at ISO 12800 on the Canon 7D, f7.1, 1 50th of a second of a shutter speed. The Nikon is set up the same way except I'm using high uh, or the high ISO H0.3. Okay, right now I'm recording with the Nikon at f8 using high 0.7 or HO 0.7 ISO and 1 50th of a second exposure. And I'll compare this to the 12,800 on the Canon from uh, at 1 50th with an f7.1 uh, aperture. Okay, right now I'm recording on the Nikon at f11, 1 50th of a second, and I'm using high 1.0 as the ISO. And now this is the Nikon again using high 2.0, f14 for the uh, f-stop and 1 50th of a second. And uh, on the LCD screen, it just looks terrible. 